Hey everybody, WWE Fan Talk Show here. Today I'm bringing you the Extreme Rules predictions, my predictions, and their predictions to you. As you can see, we're holding all the Raw titles except for the Cruiserweight and Women. So let's start off with the first match. Noam Dar versus, I mean, Noam Dar and Alicia Fox versus Rich Swan and Sasha Banks. Who cares? Who cares? I'm going to go with Rich Swan and just, Sasha Banks. Yeah, Rich Swan, he'll win with Sasha. This is the ho the who cares match. Move on. Okay, Neville versus Austin Aries. I'm going to go with Austin Aries because I think in order for Neville to fulfill how bad he is, I think like how like of a villain he is. I, in my opinion, think that Austin Aries needs to win and then later on have Neville come back and be two-time Cruiserweight champion, just to build him up a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Personally speaking, I want Neville to win. I think he should continue to win. They've been poising Austin and prepping him to become the next Cruiserweight champion, but I don't think it's time. I'm gonna win the match. Uh, Austin or Neville? <laughs> I am, I'm gonna win. Trevor's gonna win the match, so evidently you're going to somehow make I'm an appearance. Gonna, I'm so just gonna crush Austin them. Aries okay. or Neville? It's easy. It's easy. Austin Aries or Neville? All right, that's uh, a vote then Neville. for for Neville. Okay, okay good. Uh, Dean Ambrose versus The Miz, Intercontinental Championship. I'm not sure if this is an Extreme Rules match. Leave that in the comment below because it doesn't really say. Um, it has to be the Extreme Rules match though because there's no Extreme Rules match on this card. So I'm just assuming the IC title. I'm sure it is. Um, I, I would love to see Dean Ambrose win, in my opinion, because I want him to go on to feud with Seth Rollins for the Intercontinental title. Uh, they really have good chemistry in the ring, and I think it could bring a lot to Raw. But if The Miz wins, I'm not sure what they're going to do with that again, because I really don't want to see Dean versus The Miz a dozen other times. So in my opinion, I think they should just shoot it on with Dean Ambrose and just have him keep going as champ until he loses it to Rollins. I think Dean Ambrose should lose, and he should be... Like, why is he in that match and not the number one contenders match? Because he's the Intercontinental he's Champion. He's Intercontinental Champion. Oh, yeah. So, well, The Miz is going to win then. My prediction, Ambrose wins. He's too much of a badass. Uh, the Miz is good on the mic. He'll keep doing Miz TV, and, and then we'll move on. Yeah, um, I think... Yeah, I, I'm going with Ambrose. I know a lot of people think that The Miz brings a lot more out prestige of the Intercontinental, but I think Dean's got what it takes. So let's go with Dean Ambrose. All right, Miss. moving on. Alexa Bliss versus Bayley. Kendo stick on a pull match for Raw Women's Championship. I already know he's going for He's going to go for Alexa Bliss. Alexa because, Bliss will dominate this match. Because She'll that's what he thinks. But uh, <laughs> he, doesn't, well, he hasn't done any research on Bayley, so I'm going with Bayley. Um, it doesn't matter what Bailey. the research is. I'm gonna say Bailey too because actually no, I'm not. No, because the upset yeah, from true. the last pay per view when Bailey just got absolutely smacked on, in her true. own hometown, they're not gonna let that happen again. It's they're gonna not happen. gonna have. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. Okay, I'm going with Bailey actually. And I also like the name of this pat, uh, this this match, Kendo Stick on a Pole. Like how the heck are they gonna get? <laughs> they're gonna like get a ladder so, and grab it. Or? So I don't. So I don't know what the rules are here, but if you it's Kendo stick, I'm assuming Kendo stick can use it. Can use but but, can use but it. who's to prevent? Both of them can use it. So let, let's exactly. Let's imagine. Let's. I don't let's, think they can. Whoever gets it first, what does it matter? Because who's to say that if Bailey gets the, the stick off and the pole Alexa and uses it, Alexa can't. How come? Because have you seen the Kevin Nash versus Triple H? Only Triple H could use the the sledgehammer. Sledgehammer match. Uh, I think Kevin Nash tried to use it. Mm -hmm. Okay, whatever. It's, it's the rules. Okay. This okay. is another right. one of those matches. Alexa will win. I'm going she's, she's too. Hold on. Alexa's too much of a badass. She's too good on the hey. mic. She's a villain. She's Watch awesome. her language. This is a kid's show. Yeah, it's not a kid's kid show. show. This is fan this talk is, this show. Is it's a family kids. show. Sorry, I'm little kidding. Johnny. Bad butt. I'm sorry, matter. little Johnny. I'm going for little Bailey. Johnny. I'm yeah, going little Johnny. Bailey's going to win. How about little Jimmy? win. Okay, moving on. Bailey's the winner. Okay, let's move on. The Hardys versus Cesaro and Sheamus and Steel Cage match for the Raw Tag Team title. Hardys. Okay, let me stop. let me get my opinion on this match. I think that the Hardys. Um, last time I went with Cesaro and Sheamus because I thought it was time for the broken gimmick, which obviously it will eventually happen. But I'm gonna go with the Hardys this time because I think that they will. Um, I think if they eventually become broken, it'll be from the revival. Which is a tag team from NXT, and they're very good. I just think it's too soon for them to lose the tag team champions. The but yeah, remember, they're going to hold it for a couple more pay per views, remember, and then they'll break up. Remember, and then they'll do some solo remember, stuff. they if they keep if they have the Hardys, in my opinion, if they have the Hardys hold the titles for too long, I think it's just going to be like no, it's not. Eh. 
Hardy's because it's the Hardys. No, it's not what? I didn't say anything yet. <laughs> you said it's gonna just be an... I didn't say and I was gonna say what I was gonna say. The Hardys okay. need to hold on to um, the, the Raw Tag Team Championship at least through WrestleMania of next year. Literally. Yeah. They brought them back. They are bigger, they're larger than life. They will not lose. They're not as good as they used to be, though. Uh, well, that's just because they're hey, old. Okay, that's look, also look at the debatable. match. Look at the match. This is a steel cage match, right? This oh, which is not their profession. It, it, their yeah, profession but Matt is chose the, the steel cage. You mean the WWE chose. They're, the reason why they're not doing a ladder match is because they have been doing a lot of ladder matches like money, like they're coming up with money in the bank, and they just did a ladder match at WrestleMania and another ladder match. Like I forget which pay per view it was, but that's why they chose. I think a steel, steel cage. cage is a little bit different, and it's going to offer some more stuff yeah. for the Hardys to do. But to here's the, the thing: if if Cesaro and Sheamus do win, just throwing that in there. If they do, which they're not, but if they do win, it'll not be by pinfall guaranteed. It'll be by escaping the cage. Just mm. FYI. If we'll we'll see what happens, but I picked the Hardys. I yeah, pick I picked the Hardys. Hardys. Okay, so that's a triple threat. Moving on, we have Roman Reigns or Finn Balor versus Seth Rollins versus Samoa Joe versus Bray Wyatt Universal Championship number one contender. Is this match. a elimination match? No, no this, this is, is whoever wins is the number one contender. Oh, that and they, sucks. And they, it should be elimination. Uh, okay, so so the winner of this match is going to go on to face Brock Lesnar at Great Falls okay, of Fire. Correct. Le, le, okay, I'm gonna. Okay, yes? the reason. Yes. The reason why, okay, so I don't want like I love Finn Balor. He's he's I would want him to win this match, but I don't want him to win this match because they're just gonna have whoever wins this match lose to Lesnar at Great Balls of Fire. It's pretty obvious. I think everybody knows that. So I really don't want Finn Balor to win this match for that reason because if they have Finn Balor ever come back for the Universal Title, I think that should, they should make him win it and not lose like and get beat up by Brock Lesnar. Which is going to downgrade him, in my opinion. Which is because Finn Balor is so high right now on like, like the wrestling level that if they have Lesnar, which is not like too much of a technical wrestler, he's more of a suplex F5 done. This is a powerhouse. Then it's just going to drop the technicality of Finn Balor, which is which kind of sucks. Unless they have Balor come back at SummerSlam as the demon. I know exactly what's going to happen. But first, we need to do our predictions. I'm going with Finn Balor, even though I don't want him to win. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with Samoa Joe, and here's my reason why. <laughs> Samoa Joe is gonna win. Laugh all you want. Samoa Joe is gonna win because he's gonna be the number one contender, so that he could be a one and done for Brock Lesnar to beat him at Great Balls of Fire. Because the rumors are, the rumors are that Lesnar is gonna take on Braun Strowman at SummerSlam. Even so it's got to be a one and done. for six months. What's that? Uh, they, oh, he's not out for six months. I know, now. but still. So give him a break. Um, um, here's what's going to happen. So whoever wins this match will lose to Lesnar at Great Bills of Fire. He'll face Roman. Strowman will lose. And he'll face the rest of the guys throughout the year until it gets to WrestleMania, which he'll face Roman Reigns, and that's when he will lose. I Okay, here's why I disagree. Because who who was the first one to hold this title? Hey. Finn Balor. Finn Balor. Okay. So who did Finn Balor beat? Seth. Okay. What is gonna happen? Okay, okay, hold on. One of two things is gonna happen. One, what he said, him right there. Um, whoever wins this match will just be Brock Lesnar's puppet for probably the next one or two yeah. pay-per-views. Or he loses Seth it. Rollins is gonna win. Is gonna fight Brock Lesnar in the midst of their battle. Finn Balor is gonna come out. It's gonna be no holds barred. Let's be real here. I'm just, I'm just like, I'm just planning out the future. The future. I'm, I can see the future, guys. Um, I'm like Raven, and that's so Raven. Anyway, you remember that show? Anyway, so Seth Rollins is gonna win. He's gonna fight Brock Lesnar. Seth Rollins is just gonna get his butt handed to him that's at Great Balls of Fire. Stupid. Finn Balor is gonna come out. It's gonna be no holds barred or no disqualification it's or something. Not. And Finn Balor is gonna do something to have Seth Rollins win, he's gonna have the champion, and then they're gonna have their rematch, and then Finn Balor's gonna win, and you know what? This video's over, I'm done, I just won. All right, so that is completely like ridiculous what he just said, because face it, when we want something amazing to happen, we and we were like, we're like, yeah, I want this ladder match with the Hardys, and, and then I, I want the Dudley boys, and Christian and Edge, oh my God, it's gonna be amazing. No, they don't give us something, they don't give us anything close to that they give us some crap pretty much like I, I i don't know i can't name it but i know like 
It's called a dream match card. Like, have you ever heard a dream match card? It's like when people put their dream card up and they know that it's never gonna happen. That's why they do it. It's called a dream match card. So my dream, well, that's probably his dream right there, what he just said. It could be, Not whatever. Right. But I'm going with Finn Balor right here because that's rumored to happen and I don't want him to win because I want him to win this title fair and square, which won't happen if he faces that great balls of fire, which sucks because it's gonna be too obvious. Like, why are they even having this pay-per-view with Brock Lesnar fighting someone that he's, everybody knows he's just gonna beat. It's like, oh, I don't even wanna watch okay, it. Okay, I know who's gonna win. Hey, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. This is for the Universal Championship, and if Lesnar's the champion, and Lesnar's only doing, what, two pay-per-views, three pay-per-views a year? Who's to say that they won't pull off the completely unexpected and have one of these guys, whoever wins this match, beat Brock Lesnar Seth and Balls of Fire? Seth Who's Rollins. to say? I mean, look what they did with Jinder Mahal in SmackDown. And Randy Orton, come on. Seth True. Rollins. Who's to say? Who's hey, to say? Did you hear, by the way, speaking of Jinder Mahal, did you hear what he said? They're having an, like, an interview or something, and they're like, who is your dream superstar to fight? And he's like, Brock Lesnar, because if I beat Brock Lesnar, it'll just set, like, it'll make me the best superstar. Who said and that? I could beat anyone. Who said that? Jinder Mahal. Gosh, that dude is dreaming. <laughs> there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of Jinder fans. Um, I think they could do a lot with him. Maybe. Just to make yeah, they can make, we'll talk they about can do that so much another, with him, they another. can make him lose to everybody okay. on the roster. We'll talk about that on the Money in the Bank uh, prediction. So I'm right. going with Finn Balor, right. you're going with Samoa Joe, Samoa Joe's going to win. Too? Seth Rollins, Seth and freaking Rollins. And who would I want to win? I can see Roman winning. So, we, we, hey, so guys, we just did our predictions, but let's talk about who we would want to win. I personally would, would want either Seth, Finn, or Roman to win. I'm tired of Bray Wyatt. He needs to take a little hiatus for a while. You're tired yeah. of Bray Wyatt, but I'm you're tired not tired of Roman Reigns getting the same push I, I, I'm, for the past I'm three years. Roman Reigns has been push. villainized. He's had nothing he, throughout the whole year. I think no, they need to get Roman Reigns away from Brock Lesnar for a little bit because because that's what WrestleMania 34 okay, is. Okay, who, who would I want to win? Um, I would either go with Seth or Roman hey, to beat Lesnar. Is this going to be? Is this going to be Finn Balor or? Finn Balor's alter ego in this match. It'll, it'll be his alter ego. It's a he'll, pay per view. He'll, he'll be the demon. Be. That's if, if he's the demon, then he's gonna win. win. Okay. If he walks out as the, has he announced whether he's gonna? No, he doesn't announce. Okay. That. If he comes out as the demon, then he's gonna win. If he doesn't come out as the demon, then he's gonna lose. The only time he's ever announced if he's the demon is when me and Dad went to Raw and he's like, Seth Rollins at SummerSlam, you will meet the demon in the ring. I'd yeah, but that, but technically, like, that doesn't even mean that he was gonna be the demon. That just kind of meant, like, hey, I'm the demon, man. No. I don't know. Dude, Whatever. Well, okay, in any so case, I'm, I'm picking Samoa Joe. I'm going wait, wait, wait. Is this, is this the what we want? We already did, well, our, we already okay. did our predictions. Okay, so I want, want, I want, um, I want two people to win. I want Seth Rollins to win so he can beat Brock Lesnar and fight Finn Balor. Or I want Bray Wyatt or Samoa hey, Joe to win so Brock Lesnar I, can I do want to point something out. I do want to point something out. They completely, like, I know Finn Balor was injured when once he won the title against Rollins, but they have wasted a perfectly good storyline between Rollins and Balor. Balor was injured by Rollins. Balor wants to get revenge on Rollins. Boom, 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 right there. Storyline, easy for I WWE. Just, Come on, didn't guys. Did I just give you that storyline? No, like no, I'm talking, I'm talking about non-title. Okay. All right, well, let's wrap this up. Okay, so I'm going Finn Balor, he's going Joe, and he is going Rollins. Seth freaking okay. Rollins. Um, it's cool though how we each have different yeah. guys. It'll so be interesting. It'll be more match. variety. And again, look at this is a pretty weak card. There's not a lot of matches, and if this is a three hour pay per view, I would expect that this, this fatal five way for the Universal number one contender match will go on for at least no, a weaker. half an hour, no, right? No, it's weaker than this match card. What? The Money in the Bank match card. There's only five matches. Horrible. How many yeah. are there in this? Two, they should, three, why don't, four, five, I, six. I'd love to see them start starting to do these combined pay-per-views. That's SummerSlam. Including That's Raw. SummerSlam Survivor Series uh, and WrestleMania. Well, they gotta do more of them. Oh, it's SummerSlam Survivor Series Royal Rumble WrestleMania, okay. so there's four. All right. All right, so that's that's it, guys. So leave your predictions in the comment below, and I will read them. And don't forget about when I hit 30k subscribers, I will doing I will be doing um, a five dollar Friday sale type thing, and I'll get three items. And whoever has the best comment or whatever, I'll decide that later. Uh, you will win the giveaway, and I'll have three items, so one for three people. So yeah, that's it, guys. That's pretty generous. Of you. Yeah, I'm gonna win, by the way. So thirty thousand. What that's gonna be in about a week. At the rate you're going, no, I'm at twenty-eight thousand right now. Twenty-eight. You're at like twenty-eight. I'm gonna just say 
in Come about on. two weeks. That's it for these WWE these Con Extreme Con Rules predictions. Leave your predictions in the comment below and I will respond to them. WWE Fan Talk Show.